Good morning. Good morning, no, good afternoon, sorry. It's uh, almost five o'clock in the afternoon, and this is the second time I'm filming today. I filmed outside, but it was just too noisy. Too much background noise. Um, dogs barking. My dogs, uh, neighbor's dogs. Um, so yeah, uh, good afternoon. My name is Raquel. Welcome to my podcast. Uh, it's May 22nd, Sunday, and I'm at my parents' place again this weekend. Um, dogs are wandering around. We were out, like I said, we were outside before, but uh, there was just too much noise, and dogs were wondering where they should not be wandering, because my parents are out working in the, in the garden. Um, so now they're inside here with me. Well, I film. Um, I had to find a place where I could get some natural light, and it's not direct sunlight. So I'm kind of cramped sitting here on the floor, but okay, we're gonna do this from here today. So this morning, when I got up, I locked the thread um, for the giveaway, and I went on random org. And I put in the war, not including the first post, which was mine, there were 22 posts. So we went from 1 to 23, so I put in the random org 2 to 23. And the number that came out was number 19. And that's Salve Strej, uh, that's Silvia. And I forgot to see where she's from. Uh, she's here from Portugal, but I just... I, I think it was Liz, uh, Lisbon, but I'm not sure. So sorry. Uh, Sylvia, uh, congratulations for winning the yarn. You're going to get uh, these three skeins, or cakes, of yarn. And you're going to get uh, these six stitch markers to go with it. As you can see, they pretty much uh, this way, this way, match the yarn. So I'm going to put them back in the little bag. Ahead. So you're going to get six stitch markers and uh, these three balls of yarn. So um, uh, message me on Ravelry uh, with your address so I can send this to you. Um, I have some other packages to send out this week so if you could uh, send me like up to Wednesday, Thursday even. Um, I'd like to send these out on Friday if possible. Um, yeah, it's a sh short week for me this week. Let me just put away the yarn so there's not too much dog hair on them. Okay, so that's the way. Um, so yeah, short work week for me this week. Uh, Thursday the 26th is a public holiday in Portugal. So... I've taken Friday off as well. Have a nice long weekend. And I'm hoping to get my hands on the yarn that I wanted to knit the second romping around sweater. As last time I went to the uh, to Ovelha Negra, they still had not received the yarn yet in the colors that I wanted. But I would already picked out. And can I knit a sweater in five days if I start on the 26th? If I get my hands on the yarn, maybe Monday or Tuesday, um, I'm definitely going to try. That's for sure. I'm going to give it a go. Um, the shawl, the, the, the shawl I knit, the Jujui by Hohi Locatelli, that, um, that in this long has finished. Um, price still needs to be drawn, but that one's finished. The sweater goes until the end of the month, so the 31st of May. And the sweater I knit that you've all seen before, obviously, on the, on the podcast, if you've seen the previous episodes. 
I'm not entering that into the knit along because um, I basically had the whole sweater knit up um, by the time the knit along officially started so I don't think it's fair to enter that one for uh, prizes when I basically had the sweater knit already so I'm hoping to get my hands on the yarn for the next the, the colors I want for so I can knit um, the sweater for the knit along. Anyway, giveaway prizes, giveaway is done. So let's go on to finished objects. Almost, almost had two finished objects to show you, but I only have one. Last week after the podcast, while I was editing and uploading. Um, I didn't feel like knitting on the sweater and I decided to cast on a hat that I've been meaning to knit ever since it came out, ever since the pattern came out. And that is the Babel hat, I'm sure you all know which one it is, that came out last year already. Yeah. I can see it. And um, I got the book. I got the Shetland Wool Week Volume 1 uh, when it came out. And I quite like it. It's, it's a cute little... It's nice patterns in there. It's nice interesting stories in there. Um, I just never got around to knitting the hat. Uh, and I decided last week to finally get... Start knitting it. Because... I bought the Donna Amelia yarn for it some time ago, either late last year or earlier this year, I'm not sure, I can't remember. And because I did the um, that cowl for uh, Joana Vovelli Negra in the Donna Amelia yarn, and that was the first time I used the yarn, I decided I wanted to, I liked it, I liked working with it so I wanted to knit the hat with it um, I knit the cowl on seven millimeters which I believe is a US 9 or 10 I'm not sure I'll put that down below the hat um, calls for I think it's a worsted weight yarn. Let's see. No, Heather. Um, yeah, an Aran. A worsted Aran weight yarn. This is considered a bulky yarn. So, quite a bit thicker. So, the hat turned out quite a bit larger, obviously. Then, but you know what? I don't mind. Uh, it's nice and big, it covers my whole head. I can be wearing my ha hair up in the ponytail, it still fits fine. Um, and here it is. Here's my bobble. It's missing a pom-pom. I'm still going to put a pom-pom on there, but I wanted to weigh the yarn first to see how much I'd actually used uh, before, um, before making the pom-pom. This has been uh, washed already. and. I actually filmed a little bit yesterday on how I washed this yarn because like I said, I mentioned last week, you need to wash this twice. You need to really rinse it out thoroughly before um, leaving it to soak uh, after which you can block it because there's um, some oil on this uh, that they use for spinning uh, the yarn and it is a two ply by the way. It doesn't look it, but it is a two-ply. Um, and that's why it feels rough when you when you handle it like this uh, in the, the raw scheme. Uh, it feels kind of rough. Uh, depending on the dye also, it feels rougher than, for instance, like this blue one is quite soft. This is a natural one, so not dyed. Uh, the yellow one I used for the cowl, which I still have over here. This one feels quite rough, actually. It's out of the the five colors I've used now. It's the one that feels the roughest. 
So yeah, I want just to weigh the, the yarn that I had left over. Basically, I only used 4 grams of the black. Um, I wanted to use, yeah, so I wanted to weigh the yarn, see how much I had left over before making the pom-pom. Pom -pom. And I think I'm going to be using these three colors for the pom-pom. Maybe one a little bit of the black. And then with the leftovers, I'll just knit a hat with the black. So, like I said, it's huge. I'll show you. I'll put it on. Um, actually, let me show you. Okay, so, uh, like I said, th this is fluffed up quite a bit. I used four millimeters for the ribbing and four and a half for the, um, the rest of the hat. So it's quite a denser, much more, much denser than the, the cow that I knit. Um, and I'll show you the floats. There's my floats. Not too bad. If I say so myself. Um, and I've contemplated putting this as, um, this in the washing machine to felt it a bit more. Uh, maybe shrink it a little bit, but you know what? I like it the way it is. I'll put it on. You'll it'll, it covers my whole head basically. Like I said, see. But fold up the rim. Like I said, it's gonna have a pom pom on the top, and I can wear a ponytail, and then it'll be further up there, and then I'll just have the rim folded down. I like it. Um, I'm happy with it, really happy with it. It's nice and soft. It really did, um, the yarn like bloomed quite a bit. Um, much more so these colors than the yellow. Uh, I could have knit the cowl in the yellow, um, knit the cowl on a size small, uh, smaller needles. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fine. It also filled out quite a bit. Not maybe as much as this because like I said this is denser fabric. But yeah, pom pom. And then I'll be using this a lot in the winter when I take the dogs out for a walk. Okay, so let me put this all away. Oh, and I'm filming this with my parents outside because they didn't didn't get a chance to film yesterday. And they haven't gone anywhere today, so I'm filming this with them outside. If I stop this, it's because my mom has come inside. Just so you know. I feel self-conscious enough as it is talking to the camera myself, and I don't... Having my mom hear it, yeah, no. Okay, so... Um, yeah, that was it for finished objects. And the other object I almost, almost had finished was the sweater I was knitting in Yarn Adventures sock weight yarn for a friend's daughter. And it will be finished by, t by the end of today. So it'll be, you'll have something, th that'll be my finished object for next week. So what have I got so far? I'm untangle the yarn so I can show you better. And let me show you the front. Okay, so the top part you've seen already. I used the golden hour and the grandma's garden for the top. And then I continued with the body in grandma's garden and sage and lavender colorway. So that's here. Body. And then I used just the sage and lavender for the bottom part, which basically took up 50 grams of yarn. Um, so yeah, only thing missing here is a pocket, which I'll be knitting in the golden hour colorway, make a nice contrast. And then I need to find some suitable buttons to go with it, and I worked on the sleeve yesterday. 
the first sleeve. And I start the second sleeve. And I'm about halfway. Let's see. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm more than halfway uh, through the sleeve. So, this is the 5200K pattern by Suvi Samola. And basically, I'm not really following uh, a specific size because, like I mentioned last week, I had to. My gauge was way off because I'm using three and a half millimeters instead of the four millimeters that the pattern calls for. As I did not like the uh, fabric I was getting with the four millimeters. So. I'm doing various sizes. I've circled the sizes I have on with pencil on the pattern, um, and then I'll be writing some very. Um, I'll write them in my on my pro project page. I'll write down everything, all the modifications I made. But basically, the first modification I made was the increases to the sleeve section. I did yarn overs every other row until I had the correct number of stitches I needed for the body section um, and like I said I made the sweater slightly larger than the size than her, than her size so that she can wear it not only this year but you know for a couple more years to come uh, did no waist shaping at all so I just knit straight down um, and if the body's a bit long now, it's okay. It'll just be like tunic length now, and as she grows, it'll, you know, be sweater length. Um, that's fine. So, um, other modif okay. So that's another modification. I didn't do waist shaping. Then the bottom section, I knit as written. Um, Sleeves. And again, sleeves. I'm not doing the crease, not, not doing the decreases as written. I'm doing them every fourth row until I get to the size I wanted, the stitch count I wanted, and um, because I decided, I did the calculations. I uh, saw how, what my uh, row gauge was um, they want you to knit till 25 centimeters before starting the cuff so I divided my row gauge by the 25 or divide 25 centimeters by the my row gauge and got uh, found out how many divided multiplied I can't remember what I did exactly. <laughs> I've written it down. I'll write it in my, in my project notes. I figured out how many rows I needed to knit, and then I divided that to get knowing how many decreases I needed, how many times I needed to decrease to get the stitch count I wanted. Um, sorry, this is all over the place. Um, I figured basically I figured out how many times I needed to decrease and how many rows I needed to do that in. Basically what it came down to is I needed to decrease every fourth row to get my decreases to the 25 centimeters and so what I decided was to use the grandma's garden as my fourth row uh, yarn. So I decreased with this I knit three rows in this and then one row in this, which was my decrease, and then it's easier to count. So, as you can see, and then I knit a further, so that was up to 25 centimeters. I thought it was a bit short, so I knit a couple more rows before I did the cuff. And now I just have to repeat the same thing on this side which is you know makes it a lot easier for me to 
um, repeat without making one sleeve longer than the other especially as I'm not really following the pattern anymore so yeah um, this will be finished today another thing that's still on my needles is my socks which I'm doing for the fancy feet knit along from by the grocery girls I kind of stopped because I wanted to work on the sweater as the sweater does have a de deadline the cow also has a deadline but it's after the one for the sweater so um, yeah this is where I'm at I did the, the cuff and the heel and I'll be doing the toe because that's where I stopped um, in the tiger yarn the fuchsia colorway this one over here and the rest the main part of the sock is the Regia design line by Erica Knight uh, the jazz color and it's number 06455 which is flamenco sketches and I already made a pair of socks out of this so I knew that I liked the striping I just wanted to see the effects on the top this is the um, Broken Jack pattern by General Hog Buffer for Biscott Yarns, which at the time was a free, um, it was like free for a week or something or for several days. It's now a paid pattern on Ravelry and on Biscott Yarns website. So yeah, missing the toe on this one and then I can start the second one. And that's it. That's what I have on my needles. Hopefully, like I said, I can get my hands on the yarn I need for the sweater I want to knit. Rumbling around. Probably not tomorrow. Um, maybe Tuesday, I hope. I, I'm going to be emailing uh, Joanna to find out um, if, if, first of all, if the colors I want have arrived already and if she can put them aside so that I can just quickly pop in and get them and um, hopefully start knitting on the sweater. If I can't get my hands on, that, uh, on those colors that I want, then I'll just carry on with the Natsumi sweater, which I've ripped out in the meantime, and I'm going to restart. I'm going to do some more calculations on that um, because I wasn't the way the sweater was hitting me it was hitting me yeah I, I wasn't liking where the cable section was uh, was falling at the time uh, the, the section I'd knit already I could see where the where it's gonna hit like on my chest and I wasn't liking it either needs to be higher up or lower down. Um I didn't like where it was at the time at at, at the point at the sorry, words today. Um basically okay. I've ripped it out. I need to calculate to see where I want it to hit on my body and then we start it again um, so if I don't get yarn for the rumbing around I'm working on the Natsumi sweater hopefully and then what else do I have I have nothing more to show I'm trying to think what else I have I want to knit um, no, it's just those two sweaters for the for the time yeah. being. Actually, at the beginning of the year on my blog, I basically the whole month of January, I believe, and maybe some posts in February as well. I 
highlighted several patterns that I wanted to knit this year for which I have yarn already. And out of the whole list, I've only knit one of those items, which was the mellow sweater by Pickles, which I turned into a dress. And which I'll show something when I'm back at my house. Uh, at the moment, I don't have it here, so I can't show you. Um, maybe I'll show you next week. So yeah, the Natsumi sweater is another one of those, and then there's a couple more that I want to knit, so I want to see if I can start working on those. My plan for the rest of the year is to knit one of those items per month, and then, you know, there'll be other projects in between, uh, like socks or hats or mittens, whatever, whatever else comes, comes along. So yeah, um, I'm gonna call it a day today. I want to finish a sweater. I still have to edit this and upload it. Like I'm at my parents' place, so this is probably going to take the rest of the evening, rest of the afternoon and evening to upload. Um, that's why I want to keep it short. Internet here is very, um, very bad connection, so it needs to be short. So yeah, thank you for watching. Um, I've opened up the... Did I open up the thread? No, I kept it locked. Um, I might open it up again and you guys can go congratulate Sylvia on her winning the yarn. I'm thinking of maybe hosting a knit along like in the summer, if you guys are interested. Let me know. What would you like to knit? Uh, I know it's summer, so maybe something small, or maybe we'll do it after, like starting in September. Um, yeah, just let me know. Uh, PM me, uh, send me a message, whatever. Just leave a message here on YouTube. Um, yeah. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.